Hey friends, how are you today? I miss you guys so much. I have another project for us to work on today. It is thinking about symmetry when things look the same on each side. We'll talk a little bit about more that and just uh, more about that in just a second. Um, but before you watch any more of this video, I need you to go down below this and click click on the link for the Prezi video that I made about symmetry and car design. So click on the link. It will take you to a Prezi and you'll see my name in the corner and click on topic one. When you're finished reading that slide and talking about it and looking at the cars, go down to the bottom, click on the next arrow until you finish. Uh, you'll know you're finished because it will tell you to come back and watch this video. Okay, so bye, go watch that Prezi and then come on back. Okay, so you should have watched the video now, um, the Prezi, I should say, about symmetry and car design. Um, so we know that things are symmetrical. If you draw an imaginary line down the middle of this, each of these two sides are mirror images of the other. Um, are they perfect mirror images? Maybe, maybe not. It kind of depends on what kind of car you're looking at. This one looks pretty symmetrical, but there's a steering wheel on this side and not on this side. So let's take a look at this one. Here's another sports car. Um, I think it's a Porsche. It looks like it's symmetrical. The only part that wouldn't be would be um, this little symbol right here. Okay, and then here's another one. This one looks like it's pretty symmetrical too. So when you look at cars from the front or the back, they are symmetrical, meaning they are about the same on each side. So now let's talk a little bit about the shapes that you might see. Okay, so you know you're gonna design your own car today. And when you design your car, you're gonna be thinking about, let's just pop back to these elements of art. Um, you're gonna be thinking about the element of line when you draw lines to make your shapes. You're gonna be thinking about the element of shape because there are a lot of different shapes associated with the design of cars. You're gonna be thinking about what colors you would like to use. Now, when you make your car, you can make it look sort of real or you can make a crazy imaginary car. Either way, this is your art project so you can make it any way you want. So let's just talk really quickly about the shapes of car, the shapes of things that you might see on a car. So if you look at the headlights, they are of course round. Um, this part of the car is called the grill, and you can see on this truck, the grill is exactly symmetrical, the same on both sides. This part is the bumper, it's symmetrical too. The only thing that's not exactly symmetrical about this car, um, the letters of course, the license plate, of course. And if you think about the way the windshield wipers go, if this, if the windshield wipers were symmetrical, this one would have to be pointing this direction. And that might not be the best way to get the rain off of your windshield, so maybe that's why they designed it this way. Okay, so we're gonna be thinking about lines and shapes and symmetry as we design our car. Okay, so for this project, you will need um, scissors a glue stick, a pencil, and you will need some construction paper and then some scraps for the little details for your car. Now, if you don't have any construction paper, um, I will show you how you can draw half of a car and make it symmetrical and then you can just color your car. So you could just draw a car and color it. That's totally up to you, okay? Okay, so, um, we are let me give you a peek at the project we're going to make oh I, I think it's, i think it's under here so this is the one i'm going to make um i'm going to make this because i used to drive a red jeep and i loved it so that's why i chose to make this kind of car but of course you can make anything you want you could make a sports car you could make a pickup truck you could make anything from your imagination so you decide what you want to do. The only thing that I want you to remember is that your car needs to be pretty symmetrical. Let's, if we look at mine, you can see um, one very obvious place where my car is not symmetrical. It's the, yeah, the windshield wipers, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm going to start with the body. Now to make your car symmetrical, the trick is you will fold everything in half 
and you will only cut out half of it and then when you open it up obviously it will be symmetrical okay so um, I'm gonna make this uh, car yellow I made my other one red but I'm gonna make this one yellow and I'm gonna start with the body so and you should probably start with the body too that's the biggest part everything else will go on the body so you want to start with the body of your your car and remember when you're thinking about drawing it you're only drawing half of it okay so when you're thinking about drawing it think about how high you want your windshield to be maybe you want a really short windshield because you're making a sports car okay I made it a kind of a long one because mine was um, looking sort of like a Jeep or a truck okay and then think about how wide your body is going to be and how long your car is going to be okay now if you draw one and then cut it out and you don't like the shape that you've made you can always fold it back up and try again see if you like another shape that you made better okay so um, this is really important you the fold line is right here you're not cutting on the fold line so I'm going to start drawing on the fold line and I'm going to make my windshield this is the top of my car and then I'm gonna go down I'm gonna have a pretty long windshield because I'm making you know like a safari kind of thing and my car is gonna be curved like that and that's probably long enough and I'm gonna close it up okay so pretty just really simple outline now remember if you want to make something with a shorter windshield then this part would be shorter if you want your body to be larger and that part would be larger. You design it any way you want. When you are ready to cut, put your hand on the fold. That way you know you will not cut the fold. If you accidentally cut the fold, why then you will just start over again, just like when it happens at school. No big deal, but save your scraps, of course, because you might be able to use them for something else in this project or for another project, okay? So I'm not going to throw these away. Maybe I'll use them for headlights or something like that. So I'll put those over there. And then I'm going to look and see if I like that body shape. And you know what? I do like that. So um, surprisingly, most of the time when I do something like this, I have to fold it back up and trim it up a little bit more because I don't love what I, what I see. Uh, and that's absolutely okay. All right. So the next part I'm going to make is the bumper because that's the next biggest part here. Now, my bumper needs to be a little bit bigger than my body. Um, your bumper could be the same as your body or a little bit bigger. The bumper is to sort of to protect the car, so that's why it needs to be a little bit bigger than your car. But remember, this is your design, so you can make it any way you want, okay? So I'm gonna make my bumper black. And if I hold my paper here, I'm looking at this, I'm trying to use a piece of scrap paper, but it isn't going to work because this paper is not longer than this paper. So I'm going to have to look in my scrap drawer here. I have a scrap drawer at my house, um, just like we have the scrap tower at school. I miss you guys so much, I can't even say. Okay, so here's a piece that's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to fold this in half because remember, we're making this symmetrical. So if we fold everything in half, both sides will be the same when we open it up. So um, a bumper is actually, you can make it curved. Maybe I'll do this with a white pencil, see if that shows up better. You can make a curved bumper, okay, like that. Or you can make a straight bumper or something else. Whatever you want is absolutely perfect. Remember, you're going to start drawing on the fold part, okay? We never cut the fold. So I'm actually just going to make a pretty simple bumper here. I'm actually just going to make a rectangle, and I'll show you why in a minute, okay? So I just made a rectangle there. I'm not cutting there. That was just when I was showing you if you could make a curve. I'm going to cut on the fold, and I'm just going to cut my rectangle out, and I'll show you why I did it this way. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is match this up. And make sure my bumper is longer than my car. Woohoo! My bumper is way longer than my car. Way too much longer. Okay, I would like this bumper to be a little bit curved. So I'm just going to make a curved line like that. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay, you see that little curved line right there? I know that I want my bumper sticking out a little bit, so I made a curved line there. I'm going to fold this back up. I'm just going to cut on my curved line. 
Okay, and when I open it up, my bumper will be, it will be symmetrical, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my windshield. So my windshield just needs to go inside this part right here. And um, let's see if I have a big enough piece of scrap paper. That doesn't really look big enough, so I'll dig through my scrap tower and see if I can find a pretty big piece of paper. Um, you could use blue if you wanted to show your window. That would be fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half because, remember, we want this to be symmetrical. And I'm going to fold this in half. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay this here. I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to trace around the area that I want my windshield to go. Okay. Now, if I cut this out, let's see what happens. Because I want my windshield to be the same shape as the body of my car. That's why I trace that. Okay. So I'm going to open this up, and is it going to fit just right or be too big? It is too big, but it's the exact right shape. So all I have to do is close it up again and trim around it, and it should be just the way I want it. Okay. All right, so there's my windshield, and there's my bumper. Okay, so that's basically... The, these are the sort of, I guess, the trickiest things I would think to cut out. Um, to make the rest of your car, uh, you definitely need some tires. So when I'm cutting out something that I need two of them, but it's not going to be something that I fold, you know the trick. Just fold your paper in half and draw it on your paper. So I'm going to make, oh, I guess I should do this in white so you can see this. I'm going to draw my tire shape. Um, by the way, I kind of stopped talking about shapes, but let's talk about it. So the windshield is kind of like a rectangle. Oh, I think we did talk about how the bumper was a rectangle with the corners taken off. The tires are also rectangles. Okay, so I just made, now if you want big fat tires on your car, then you would make these much bigger. So you decide how you want your tires to look, and you can even take a pencil and make like some squiggle lines in them for the treads. That would be totally awesome. Okay, and then you decide where you want your tires to go, okay? And then, in fact, for this one, I would definitely redo this. I think I would like my tires to be just a little bit bigger so I can go out and get a little crazy. Okay, so the rest of the car, you are gonna add your own details, decide what you want in your car. So I already cut some out so you didn't have to watch me cutting everything out. Um, I cut the seats and I think I'll just glue this on real quick. Okay, and smooth those tires, but I want this bumper on. Okay, and I'm just gonna stick some glue on the end of this tire and tuck it up here. And stick some glue on the end of this and tuck it up. And you know what? I think I would like to draw some tire treads on there. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay, and let's glue this windshield on. And then you can start adding whatever details that you want to your car. Like I have some seats to put in. And actually on my other one, I think I made another paper that went around the back of this just to make a little black line around my windshield. Um, you can do that if you want. And I got a rear view mirror hanging here. You can tell that what I did was I had the paper folded in half and I drew my rear view mirror. It kind of looks like the bottom of a golf club. And then I will open it up and glue it on. Now these are details that you can add, but you don't have to. You can make yours look however you want. Um, I've got some rear view mirrors here that I'm going to glue and tuck under here so I can see what's going on behind me. Just like I do in school, I can see what's going on behind me. Okay, and um, Jeeps have a very um, noticeable grill. Remember when I showed you the truck? This is the grill right here so you can do some really fancy things with that if you want like this Ford has 
six little rectangles inside there. Um, you can do that if you want. Jeeps, I think I have a picture of a Jeep in this pile here. Jeeps have that really recognizable um, grill that's just looking like this, so that's why I made mine look like that. Okay, oh, and you could put a symbol on the front too. That would be super cool to put like some kind of symbol right there that represents you in some way. Oh, headlights. So um, for the headlights, we want those to look the same. So take a piece of scrap paper. This is why we save every little itty bitty piece of paper. And you can either trace something like this or just draw your own circle, but fold it in half. And then you know when you cut it, you're gonna have two of them, okay? Now it is helpful to look at pictures of cars when you're doing this, so that's why there are a lot of pictures in that Prezi. You can always go back and look at that to get some ideas, or you can Google um, pictures of cars to get ideas. Um, when I was doing this, I kind of forgot about these lights, so I looked at a picture and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to add those. Um, I added a little license plate here. You could do that if you want and then write your name on it. The other thing that would be super fun, my daughter gave me this idea when she came in and looked at this. If you looked in a magazine and found a picture of like your favorite celebrity, you could cut it out and put them here before you glue your steering wheel and your windshield wiper on or put a picture of yourself in there. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun. Okay, so once you get everything glued on, you have your symmetrical car made you're going to need to glue it on a piece of background paper just to kind of hold everything together like these are sticking out. So um, choose a background color that you think would be con would contrast with your car and really show your car off. So obviously if you have, I'm going to dump those off, if you have a yellow car you would not choose a yellow background. You might choose green because that shows off your car. You might choose blue, that would show off your car. Um, you might choose purple, but you probably wouldn't choose um, orange because that wouldn't show off your car as well. Okay, so think about what color would show off your car and glue it on. Okay, and your finished product is gonna not look like mine, but it probably will be symmetrical and in most places, and it will be something of your doing. I can't wait to see what it is. So make sure that you send me a picture of what you do. Now, I did say that if you didn't have construction paper, I had another idea for you. So if you don't have construction paper, you can take a piece of, this is just copy paper, and draw half of your vehicle, okay? Well, let me backtrack a little bit. Fold your paper in half open it up, fold it in half the other way too. You'll see why that's important in just a minute, okay? Keep it folded in half and draw half of your vehicle, okay? So I did this um, last night just so it would be a little bit quicker and you wouldn't have to watch all of this. You can look at a picture if you want or draw a vehicle from your imagination, okay? So I drew half of it. Now what I'm going to do is open this up and fold it this way. That's why I told you to fold it both ways. Okay, and you can you can see, I went over this. After I sketched it, I went over it again with my pencil just to make sure there was a good layer of graphite there. Okay, so all I did was sketch it real sketchy and then went over everything nice and dark one more time. Okay, and then that way you can see through it. I think you can see, right? And then you're going to take your pencil and trace over all of the lines that you drew. And you know that it is going to come out completely symmetrical. And anything that doesn't come out that if you pressed and it, you can't see it, you can just fill it in. Okay. And then when you're, oops, we'll see if that worked. And then when you're finished with this, you can color it any way you want, okay? And add whatever details you want to. All right, let's take a, oh, I just have these couple more to do, so I'll just do those. Let's open it up and see if it worked. Okay, so there we go. And now I'll just take my pencil and darken those lines, and then you can color it. 
okay? So if you don't have um, construction paper at home, you can still make a symmetrical vehicle, okay? So that is our video for today, and I cannot wait to see your pictures. Even more so, I can't wait to see you guys. So if you do this project, and when you finish it, can you please send me a picture? Because I love to see the things that you do. Bye, friends. Miss you.